some may have an idea of who I was. A wife. A mother. The grandmother. A monster. I only ask that before you judge me, listen to the full story that led me locking my grandchildren in an attic. To suffer. And knowing the truth. Judge me if you dare. Oh boy, are you ready? I know I am. We are talking about Lifetime's newest limited series, Flowers in the Attic, The Origin. Once again, examining author V.C. Andrews hit Flowers in the Attic, a prequel. One of the stars that we just saw in that clip, Jemima Rupert, is with us now. How are you today? Hi, I'm great. Thanks, Natalie. How are you? I am well, and I am so excited to talk with you about this because I've actually seen Flowers in the Attic, Heather Graham. You know, I loved when Lifetime started to kind of dive into this. So there is so many, you know, pop culture lines surrounding Flowers in the Attic. Some say it's controversial. Some people say it's a must read, then let alone the movies. Were you a fan? Were you intrigued before you accepted this script? Well, do you know what? I hadn't, the, the, the title, Flowers in the Attic, um, totally rang a bell, but I'd never read it. Um, I didn't really know anything about it. And on reading the scripts for it, uh, I just found them such a page turner. I was completely sucked in. Um, the part was phenomenal. Um, there was, you know, no way that I wasn't going to audition for it. And um, I was so excited to be reading something with such a meaty female role in it. Um, and then on reading the novel, uh, I, I had found the same thing that I was just turning the pages, turning the pages, turning the pages. It it sucks you in, and I can see the, you know the controversial elements um, of it uh, are, are definitely there. But it's um, such a unique genre. I don't think we have uh, this kind of genre really in the UK, um, and I absolutely love it. There is something about it. I think it's sort of weirdly relatable to, but it's also escapist in a very strange way. I think um, uh, she manages, and and I think the scripts manage as well in this uh, prequel to tread this very interesting line between um, the sort of truth and fantasy, and. Uh, it's sort of believable and yet dark and fun and at times funny. Um, it's just got so much to it. And, you know, we're taking a look at some of the names right now. You know, I mentioned Heather Graham, I know, is in The Flowers in the Attic on Lifetime a few years back. Your cast equally is impressive. You have so many stars who are a part of this, this gothic tale, if you will, and, of course, exploring the dark secrets of the Foxworth family. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it, it's so exciting. We have um, new characters who uh, aren't in the novels and we've got sort of expanded storylines. Um, uh, the the episodes um, are all quite, there's four episodes, they, they're all quite different um, as individual episodes. Um, tonally, it kind of changes, it, it sometimes becomes more playful. Um, the uh, actors who play uh, my kids in it um, bring a sort of whole new colorful, sexy life to um, the show. Um, we age in it. Um, and we've got these uh, incredible stars like Kelsey, Harry, Kate, um, who come in and give us their, their magic. I love hearing this. And, you know, we're running out of time. I was going to ask about your background because, you know, so many people compliment you in the way you were seamlessly able to go from television to film and continue your successful career. But I think I need to go a little personal. Did I hear that you actually just had a baby and the baby got to be with you on set when you were accepting <laughs> this role? Is that true? Yes, we were in uh, our second lockdown in the UK. Um, I think when I got the scripts through, uh, the baby was eight weeks old as my second son. Um, uh, also, like he, he didn't sleep for a year and a half. He's, he's getting a bit better now. Um, but yeah, we all, my whole family came, um, both my sons, and they're both in the show. Uh, playing my sons at certain points um, so people get to figure out which one's which um, oh. and uh, yeah which was it was such an amazing time and uh, such a gift of a job and then to have my kids in it very oh. briefly was incredibly special and yeah I mean 
um, yeah, unique. <laughs> unique. And anytime you can have your kids with you, you got to enjoy it. Well, we are out of time. We want to make sure one more time, Flowers in the Attic, The Origin, a limited series, which is going to air consecutively, of course, over four weeks. It's all starting July 9th, folks, 8 o'clock on Lifetime. Thank you so much for being with us. What a treat. Thank you.